the fuck is that thing for? I've been working on this um, Volkswagen Amarok, right? And I uh, pulled a valve spring off. I wanted to check that the um, valve stem wasn't bent, so I just turned it and, and checked it. Um, but what i got to do is I've got to put this spring back on now. Obviously putting valve springs on <clears throat> while the motor's all still together is quite a difficult task. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the tool because I went to the shop and they didn't really have any good enough tools for the job. So come down here. I'm going to turn these bits of steel here into the tool that I need oh, and this piece. Um, so the plan is, is to get this piece and weld these two bolts on each side of it, like that, and then get this piece and it'll bolt on there, and this piece will bolt on there, right, and then this bolt will have this nut welded on the top of it, like that, and it'll go in between those two with a bolt through it, this bolt will go through it. And then this nut will go on there. And then I'll use this piece of steel, this pipe here, this piece. So I'll cut that off there and cut that off there. And it'll get welded on the end of there. Then I'll cut an opening in here so I can access in the top of the valve spring to put the collets on. That's the plan anyway. Actually, I might end up welding that next to it. I'll weld that next to it so I can get the magnet pen down inside to pull the valve up. Alright, let's do it. It's welding to the steel, but not to the fucking bulkhead. That goes in this side. That one goes in this side. You put a bolt into your head, right? And it goes through there. And then, then there's a lever, which will be this lever, right? And when you push down on this lever, it'll push that bolt down. See what I mean? So that's this bit done. This piece is the piece that we'll be using to push the spring bit down. Now I wanted to make it so it was adjustable height. Um, but I can't put the nut in the top there because I need the magnet pen to pull the valve stem up so if I put it there then we're going to have issues with what if you haven't got room around the valve <clears throat> so if I weld it there that'll give us more room but the problem is is then it's not adjustable length you maybe I'm such a big nut maybe I weld it on this way right and I put the nut it's no different in the top yeah so I weld these two nuts together. That'll still work, it'll just... Yeah, I think that'll be okay. We'll do that. We'll weld that on there. Weld these two nuts together. Long um, ones. I really want to weld it on there, but we need the space. I 
I wonder if I cut this down long ways and then weld half of the bolt on the outside and put it on the edge. I think I might do that. Fucking blood. The other one is better. Where's the nut? Screw that on there. It goes there. Now it needs some washers to space that. I didn't think that's far through, but I'll have to... Where's the nut for it? Not your helmet. That's it. Alright. It may not work straight away because it needs some refining. For one, this is not going to work. We're going to have to modify the handle. So you take this bolt out. Instantly I can see problems with it. And you put the bolt through there. And you turn that. Sit that on there. Oh, we can move the bolt to a different spot. Obviously this thing isn't finished yet. We're just testing it. So that hole's too close for now. But... If I could shorten this, it would be perfect, but because I used a fucking stupid nut there, basically that goes on there, and it'll push down on it. I'm going to go modify this so nut. I think my contraption is done. Looks a bit fucking wild, but here we go, I'll show you. What happens is this, a bolt screws through there into the head. Now, this here, I'm going to drill new holes so then it's adjustable this way. Now this is the end bit, um, that screws in for depth, to change your depth to get your angles right. Now this is, these holes are for, to get your fingers in so you can put the collets in. So that there pushes on the valve spring, valve pokes through the hole, now you put the magnet pen down in that gap. In the gap there to pull the valve spring up, and then you poke your collets in. So, anyway. So this bit is on this side, but you can swap it around to that side, which is what I'll do. It's swapped around. And put the bolt in this hole. I'm hoping that I've made this sort of universal enough to be able to use on other projects. Now, if I, you know, we line this up onto that valve spring. That's on there. And then push it down. That's got it's see it's compressed. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's got that valve spring compressed. Now we get the magnet pen and you put it down the top here and pull that valve stem up. There we go. See, that's all the way up now, and I can see the I can see the ribs for the collets to go on. Now what I might do is while I'm doing this I might just um, get something to hold this down for me so I can spare my hand up. Got a piece of electrical wire and there's a loop there. So I'll line this back up. Feed the wire through the end. There we go. Look at that. My valve spring is sitting there just compressed. Now the biggest thing you see this tiny little collet here, right? I've got to try and put that on the valve stem without dropping it. And if I drop it and it goes in that motor, I'll just about fucking cry. That's the 
biggest drama with this is getting it in there. Now, it's not ideal to fucking do valve springs like this. I realise that. And I realise that this isn't the way it's supposed to be done, but this is, saves me pulling the head off. What I might do is I might get a, a safety rag and poke it in all them holes. Right. I'll put a rag in there, so if I do drop it, it's not going to fall down in the depths of the motor. Right, it's in there. Poke it around till it finds its spot. Oh. There we go. That's one on. This isn't as hard as I thought it would be, to be honest. I thought I'd be having a lot more trouble than this, but mind you, I shouldn't speak too soon. It's not fucking done yet. Alright, so I've got I've got them both in place. So it's time to lift the spring up and it should it should catch on there. So I'll just unscrew this wire a little bit. Up we go, up we go. And I think that's on. Pull this out. Alright, look at that. There it is. Valve swings back on properly. So, it was a little bit of dicking around, but and it was a lot of work to make that thing. But now I've got it for whenever I need to do other valves, valve springs and shit in the car. So anyway, right, so this is what she looks like. Hold there, and I just tied that end of that handle onto the engine mount. Lift bracket. That's it. It's nothing special. Like, I could tidy it up and make it a heap better. But yeah, that's it.